More than 550 archers from over 80 countries are gathered in Berlin. We're here for the 52nd Hyundai World Archery Championships and primary qualifier for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. This is archery's premier international event. Larger in scale than any other, and with 10 World Archery Champion titles up for grabs, this tournament is of the utmost importance. The venue here in Berlin is the Mayfield for qualification and eliminations. On Friday, we move to the other side of this historic Olympic landmark for three days of finals in front of the Olympia Stadion. The same field hosted these championships 44 years ago in 1979. Over the course of this year, we've had a run of three world championships, youth, para, and the main competition here in Berlin. In this event, it matters. It's been a year of newcomers on the Hyundai Archery World Cup circuit thus far. 2023 was a year for first time winners, as well as dominant presence of well-established countries like India and South Korea. The World Archery Youth Championships were held earlier in July, where India's under-21s and under-18s led the medal count in Limerick. Surprisingly, India is still searching for its first individual world title winner. Who's going to win it? Jyoti Surika Venom. She took bronze in 2019, silver in 2021, and proved she has the ability, winning her first career stage of the World Cup earlier this year in Antalya. 2023 is India's year. But while it's been a steady climb, historically, the World Championships have delivered a young surprise winner. Think Mike Schlusser before he became Mr. Perfect back in 2013. How about Jimmy Lutz, who seemed to have appeared out of thin air in 2019? And this year, there are three huge contenders. Look to 18-year-old Penny Healy, recent European Games winner from Britain. 15-year-old wonder kid, Lico Areola from the USA. And okay, less surprising, Marcus Dalmeida. All three are favorites. One has to take a win. Who else has to achieve something in Berlin? South Korea. Olympic qualifying is huge, and this is the first phase. Archery qualifying for the games works two ways, either team or individual. It used to be that the top eight teams at Worlds qualified, and this time, not so easy. Only three. The expectation on Korea is massive. It would be very embarrassing if they didn't qualify. So they've taken it to another level and built a replica stadium in their training venue. But the biggest story that could happen in the world of archery comes sunset on August 6th, that Korea does not have its full quota for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. These are exciting times. Competition starts on August 1st, with the finals taking place from Friday into the weekend. Quotas for Olympics will be decided on Friday the 4th, and Sunday, August 6th. There will be live online coverage throughout the week. Tune in and follow along. I can guarantee there will be moments of glory and floods of tears. Welcome to Berlin. <laughs>